of the sixth inning. Great charity partner. And there it is, Rita right up there. Up to us sports, Paul Kakamo is the CEO. Uh, and you're a charity partner of the Marlins this year. Tell me about the association, Paul. Well, we're really excited to be part of the Marlins because, uh, you know, they're a big player in South Florida. We're all about the fact that sports is a solution to the challenges that face kids in, uh, across this country. It's more than just about becoming great athletes. It's helping kids develop character, discipline, teamwork, leadership. And those are things that make our cities healthy and great places to live. They, help, they encourage kids to stay in school, to make, make better choices in life. And so I can't think of a better place to, to be providing coaches and training coaches than right here in South Florida with the Marlins. How does the Marlins check that you'll get as one of the charity partners help? What we're going to do with it is we're going to challenge youth sports coaches here in South Florida, and we do this all over the country. We're going to challenge them to step up to the plate and come to trainings that we'll be establishing to help them realize that kids look up to them as a coach like they're God. And that's a responsibility. I mean, kids spend more time with their coach than sometimes they do with their English teacher in school. So we're going to be training those coaches on how do you use sports to help address not, again, not just the athlete, but the, the character development of kids so that they learn skills that help them succeed on the field, but also off the field, in the classroom, in the community. When did you come up with up to uh, sports? When did I? I started the organization about seven years ago because I started to realize one basic thing, that kids who were involved in sports, especially in urban communities, they were doing better in school. And I was starting to look at why is that, and I realized every one of those situations was because those kids had a trained coach who was inspiring them and inspiring them to be student athletes, not just athletes. So I thought we need a movement in this country to use sports to inspire our kids to be everything that they can be. And that's why I started the organization. We've actually hired more than 1,700 coaches in the last five years and placed them in urban communities. And we've trained more than 4,000 coaches in youth development to be the role models that our coaches are and should be for our kids. I'm getting inspired right here. Thank you. <laughs> You're all over the country too. Yes, we're all over the country. Any way viewers can help out? Is there a website to look at or you know, information? How does that work? Viewers, I'd love you to come to uptous.org, uptoussports.org. It's up, the number two, ussports.org. And the way to help out is really two things. Number one, if you're a coach, come get trained by us because I promise you will find our training the most exciting, interactive experience, and it's going to help you be a better role model and to teach life lessons through any sport any sport because the training is across the board. The second is if you want to help us, we're trying to hire young kids from urban America to be coaches in communities where we need coaches. We need these kind of role models every day. So feel free to come on board, donate, tell us where you want to place a coach and help us provide these stipends so we can get more coaches inspiring more kids. Up to us sports.org. Yes, you got it. Paul Kakamo, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me here. That's got to get you inspired, guys. It is. Paul came all the way down from New York for this. <laughs> and uh, just a terrific organization and a great cause as well. Hi. Fly.